Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, and I'm Professor of Medicine at the University of Arizona College of Medicine in Tucson. I'm also the Editor-in-Chief of an internal medicine journal with a circulation of 125,000, the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm a well-known internist and cardiologist throughout the world. I'm here because my representative, Pam Powers Hanley, told me about Bill HB 2254 dealing with Lyme disease. Um, and I wanted to bring some scientific information to the legislature's discussion about Lyme disease. Let's start. Lyme disease is a terrible disease. It's transmitted by ticks. Fortunately, it's not a problem here in Arizona, but it's a huge problem throughout the rest of the United States. Um, it has to do with deer ticks that, of course, deer are rampant all over the country carrying this around. And there's an organism in the deer tick that gets into the bloodstream of people and can cause a very serious illness with heart damage and brain damage and so forth. Fortunately, there's an antibiotic that can destroy this organism and cure people with Lyme disease. Now, there have been a number of practitioners who claim that some individuals with acute Lyme disease go on to a long-term chronic illness called chronic Lyme disease. But all of the science that's been applied to this area says that there is no such illness as chronic Lyme disease. Invariably, the initial dose of antibiotics kills all of the organisms. Now, there have been many patients who believe that somehow they continue to have symptoms after their Lyme disease, and I'm sure they are having problems, problems in their immune system. We know that diseases like lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, the body attacks itself, and it's possible the, the Lyme uh, organism, uh, the acute infection, triggers some sort of autoimmune illness. But that should not be treated with long-term antibiotics because all of the organisms are already dead from the initial treatment with antibiotics. This has been tested in double-blind, randomized, what I call gold standard scientific clinical trials, long-term antibiotics for so-called chronic Lyme disease do no good. In fact, they do harm. They cause resistant bacteria to be created that can later cause an infection that's almost impossible to treat. So here's the bottom line. Acute Lyme disease exists. It's a terrible illness. It's treated with acute course of antibiotics. There is no such disease as chronic Lyme disease. And treating these individuals with long-term antibiotics is expensive and a cruel hoax.